Welcome to One on One with CGC Training. I'm Sam Tranks. This is episode number two, and in this episode, I'm gonna focus on wide receiver releases, all right? So as a receiver, we know that if you don't win off the line, you cannot be on the field. I'm talking about 100% win rate. No matter if the DB, you know, catches your shit off the line or not, you have to win, all right? So this past weekend, I was watching some NFL games, and there was a lot of sloppy releases, man. Sloppy, lazy releases from the receivers, um, just unathletic coverage from the DBs. And uh, so let's talk about it, man. We got DJ Turner the second here, uh, matched up against Stefan Diggs. Uh, give him a little head at the top, Steph. Why not? Hey, pause. Oh, that was crazy. I said, yo, you, you said, hey, yo, my man. Yo, <laughs> you the way you said it was crazy. We're going to be petty. We yeah. can start now. Let's let me know. <laughs> I love that. I love that. Huh? Just a little bit. Uh, let's watch DJ. Let's watch DJ Turner here. Reach. One thing I tell my guys: re don't reach, run. Don't reach, run. Let's watch DJ Turner here. Don't reach, run. What are you reaching for? Are you trying to grab his arm? Why? Why? Look at the separation we get just from once he stutters and he's trying to grab his arm. Because what happens is once we stop our hands at, at the DB position, our feet stop. Watch when he reaches, his feet stop. So he's shuttle, shuttle, you know, shuffle, 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 shuffle. He's running, he's running, stop. Diggs is just gaining ground from, from this point. Love that, love that. Finish the play, finish the play. Great, great ghost hands. You know, I tell my son all the time, catch it with your hands, catch it with your hands. I'm really about to start teaching him how to, you know, you know, sometimes, you know, if, if he puts his hands out, this DB smacks that ball away. You know, Devontae Adams does a great job with this as well. Speaking of Devontae Adams, let's see Devontae Adams here against Deontay Banks. Uh -huh. So usually, you, we know Devontae Adam wants to give him a little shake here, but he's grabbing him. This is how you, hit, this is how you handle a physical DB. You got to keep running. You got to keep working through it. Great ball, by the way. Got to keep working through it. I would say Devontae Adams got a little lazy here. You know what I mean? This is his signature. huh? That's his signature, but give him a little more. Give him a little more. You see what I'm saying? He just, he just going with him right here. I love, listen, I love this hand. I love the physicality by Deontay Banks here. Love it. I'm not mad here. Only thing I'm mad at is when we're supposed to be running. Now we start to reach. Now we once we reach, we lose them. Reach, see, what was the old saying? You reach, I teach. The shit, you know, this ain't rocket science, man. We all been doing this shit a long time. You reach, I teach. Great defense, great defense. He reaches, he teaches. Good thing he had backup. Let's go to D-Hop, man. Let's go to D-Hop versus... Let's go to D-Hop versus Joey Porter Jr. You know, D-Hop... Let's, let's go to a different clip. Let's start with this one. D-Hop versus Joey Porter Jr. D-Hop gives us absolute... What is this? What is this? What the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? This better be overtime, third and 12, third and 25 or some shit, and you gassed out. You give us nothing off the line here, D-Hop. Come on, man, future Hall of Famer, perhaps, you know what I mean? You know, depends on who, you know, who's, who, whose list you're going off of. This is not a diss to D-Hop, but you gotta give us more. Cause what happens is Joey Porter Jr. Is, Jr. is celebrating like he's this, like he's arrived. Joey Porter Jr. Shout out to Joey Porter Jr. Man, I ain't gonna start hating on the kid, man. I ain't gonna start hating on him. But D Hop, give us more. You gotta give us more. I, like, why are you initiating contact? Why are you initiating contact? He does this the entire game. What are you doing? Pissing me the fuck off. Look at this. He gives us a little bit at the top, just a little bit, but come on, man. This is, this is what separates guys, you know, in their youth. 
you know, you, you know, once you get a little up in age, you get a little lazy. We gotta turn it up a notch. You know, we're not trying to initiate contact here as a receiver. We're trying to avoid contract to contact. I'd be willing to bet that one, his alignment is too wide. I'd be willing to bet that he's supposed to be hugging the outside of the numbers. Two yards outside of the numbers running the fade directly to the sideline. What install is this? Who's your good who's the wide receiver court uh wide receivers coach? Offensive coordinator. Quarterbacks coach. Who's who where are the alignments? You know, during my time in the CFL, that's one thing that I um did I one of my takeaways from being a pro wide receiver was the alignments. The alignments are so important. You know, in the CFL the, the field is 65 yards wide. You know, NFL is 53. You don't have you don't have but so much real estate to move with. Again, Joey Porter Jr. feels like he's locking them down. Good defense by, by Joey Porter Jr. I'm not mad. He, D Hop's not threatening anything here. So last week we had um Jair Alexander versus Jordan Addison. He was getting his he was getting cooked in that one little play. He makes it up here. Watch J Jair Alexander get on his motherfucking horse. He's on his horse catch up speed. This is what separates the good from the great. This is all this is all one two. This is all hustle right here. This is hustle. All out. I would like to see him catch that. I'm not mad. This could be second and seven. You know, fairly insignificant play, but that's how important it is in the pros, man. There are no plays off. Every single play counts. That's why when you see guys, you know, half-assing it, it's either. You know, sometimes it don't it don't make sense, man. Let's check out AJ Brown versus uh Darren Bland. Watch AJ Brown over here. I think AJ Brown wasn't expecting him to to stay so square. Watch the the the, the job Darren Bland does. Great kick step. I love the lateral kick step. Keeps his hips square. He doesn't open that gate. He gives AJ Brown a, a hard time here. I ain't even gonna hold you. This is great defense. This is great defense. The lateral kick step is impressive. Uh, uh, uh. Gaining ground, staying square, fighting across, throwing those hands in there. He's not grabbing. He's not grabbing. He's running. We're running, getting that head back. As a DB, you can't be afraid to get your head back either. That's that's a that's a big thing. Don't be afraid to get your head back and make some real plays. Great job here by Deron Bland, man. Great job. Let's go Marquise Brown versus uh, Denzel Ward from the Browns. Denzel Ward does a great job. Great job here, Denzel Ward. He gets hands on. I'm, I'm not mad here. He lets him go. Great job of letting him go. But Marquise Brown, you know, you're an undersized receiver. Why are you trying to initiate contact? We know we're running a slant. So what he's trying to do, Marquise Brown's trying to get inside. Then he's trying to get vertical to push Ward upfield. You can't do that while fighting, while in a hand fight. I would say Marquise Brown should come laterally here, just a little bit. Not even lateral. Even if you're going to, even if you're going, you got to give him a little more shoulder here. You know, you know, at, at the receiver position here, if, if you're going to have a you know contested slant, you got to at least be in position to, to catch the ball. Denzel Ward does a great job here. Just thank God it wasn't picked off. Thank God he didn't pick this shit off. Be a little more, be a more, a little more deceptive, Marquise, at the top of your, uh, top of your routes here, man. You know, it's all love, but you know, what, what was that? What was that little, that little push? Come on, man, that, that's not gonna do it. Use your skill set. Don't try to, you know, go with what works best for you. Okay. This is, this is great competition right there, though. Though I'm not mad there. Let's go OBJ versus Reek Woolen. Week 9 matchup, OBJ. I love, listen, I love this by OBJ. Get your, get, get your, if you can ever get your eyes on the DB, it'll freeze him up just a little bit. It'll freeze him up. So, see, I see how it freezes him up. Freezes him right there. And then, the reason why I have this play here is to, to highlight just how unathletic Reek Woolen looks here. I personally, I'm turning 37 in a month. I can stick this shit by, by, Odell Beckham. We know we know what he's trying to do. We know what he's trying to do. 
You don't even guess here. You just running. What are we doing? What are we doing? At the very least, if you know you beat, look back for the ball something. Because what are we doing here? Great job, ODB. Great hands catch. You, you, we're not going to stop him from going inside. We're not, I guess we're not going to stop him from going vertical. We're not going to stop him from going to the pylon. When are you going to get your hands on him at all? Or at least run. I need to see hands, something, and we're reaching. Oh, hell no. Come on, Reek. Come on, Reek. So we got Trent McDuffie versus Cedric Wilson Jr. Watch McDuffie here. This is this is textbook. This is textbook here. This is textbook. Yes. Watch. So we got Trent McDuffie versus Cedric Wilson Jr. Watch. Watch Trent McDuffie stay square. I'm not, as a DB, you don't have to worry about any of that lateral head movement. Look, he is focused on, on Cedric's hips. Look at that. Also, said, give me a little something. I, I love the, I love the wiggle, but choose a side. You got to get him going either way. You can't, you know, give him that hezzy right in front of him because he, he doesn't have to, that's not threatening anything. You know what I mean? Great hands. Watch how McDuffie shoots with that right hand. I love it. Squeezes him to the sideline. Again, again. Where, where's our where's our, our field integrity? We're not helping our quarterback here. He, you know, he, he gets his head back late. He's still fighting with the with the DB. This is a great job by McDuffie. McDuffie just smothering them here. Great job. Great job. So let's go McLaurin versus Jonathan Jones. So again, this is one thing that I recognize all weekend we got DBs reaching. Instead of reaching, run, run, run. As he's reaching, watch the separation. That's a yard and a half yard of separation right there just because he's running and he's reaching. Great job, McLaurin here, giving him, give him, give him some head at the top. I'm not mad here though. Opened up, opened up his gate very, very quickly. John Jones, come on, man. Come on, man. Run. Don't reach. Don't reach. Run. Love that. Great catch on the sideline there. This is one of my favorite clips of the of the weekend. All right. Watch Amari Cooper here, man. I had, you know, I had Amari Cooper being one of the greatest receivers ever coming out of college, man. Him, Sammy Watkins. It was just a couple, you know, Julio Jones, special talents that you, where you're thinking like, man, these dudes are going to be all-time greats. You know what I'm saying? So let's check out Amari Cooper here. Watch how he attacks his blind spot, all right? Watch how he attacks his, bl his, his blind spot. So we got Buda Baker at the bottom here. I don't, I, was this like a robber? Was this a robber? Coverage, cover three man robber. I'm not sure, you know, how Buda Baker gets down, down there, but... Notice how Amari Cooper attacks his blind spot and what that does. Once he attacks his blind spot, the DB has no idea where, he, where he's at. Amari Cooper puts his foot in the ground, he's upfield. And shout out to Amari Cooper still being able to, you know, blow the top off the coverage at, you know, at a season, you know, as, as a Wiley vet, you know what I mean? Sometimes it's hard to keep that top end speed, you feel me? Notice the after he puts his foot in the ground, six steps. One, two, three, four, five, six. Up six steps upfield, hard upfield. Then you look for the ball. He's running, he's running. Watch the cornerback looking. He's getting burnt. You gotta run, baby. You gotta run. So back, let's go back to Jair Alexander, man. Jair Alexander, he had a rough time versus, you know, the entire wave versus uh, Puka and Nikola. You know, I love it. The, the, you know, I love the patience here. As wide receivers, we always feel as though we're late. You know, watch the patience in this release here. He gives them one, two, three, four, five. You know, a lot of times you get one, two, one, two, three. To get one, two, three, four, five, he knows that he has to win. He knows he has to win. Watch the quarterback staring at him. It's one on one down downhill. He knows, you know. Watch the safety try to try to steal that. Fuck out of here. I seen that. He wins off the line. Uh, gets physical at the top. Gets off, gets away with the push. 
Jair Alexander be a little more physical there, man. Especially, we know Puka's not as fast. He's not going to be this deep, per se. Although he runs with great energy, he's a hard runner. He's not going to be this deep from the press, all right? So get, let's get in there, get some hands on. Especially depending on the down, it's third and what, five? We know the down and distance. Don't let him bully you like that. That's a rookie, man. That's a rookie. You know, we're not getting bullied by rookies and shit like that. See what I'm saying? Let's go Sidney Brown versus Cavante Turpin. The, the, the return man extraordinaire. Sidney Brown, what does he do first? Reach. Wrong. Where's he go wrong? First. Wrong. 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 You lost. Wrong. As soon as he gets off the line, you lose. Wrong. Oh, he reaches again. Wrong. So that's wrong there. That's wrong there. You know, you just you just help yourself out, man. You know, in in, in the CFL, we had a, a saying. It was called "Don't cut yourself." Obviously, this is week nine. You know, he's not gonna get cut off of this Sydney Brown, but. In training camp, if you're a second, third string DB and you continually do this, this is a tendency. You know what I mean? Sidney Brown is, is a great player, but in this route here, you know, what are you looking at? I get the reach, but run. What are you holding on here for? This is what, this is what we practice our technique, you know, this, this, this is why we practice our technique. You see what I'm saying? Watch Tyreek Hill get jammed in the face here. Mmm, that looked like it hurt. I'd have took that person. These former teammates. I would have took that person. Uh, great jam, though. Fuck the whole timing up. F Deontay Johnson versus Trey Avery. I love the subtle. I love the, the. I love the subtleness at the top here. I love that. Get him going inside. But one thing that Deontay Johnson does a great job of, he doesn't. Although he doesn't hug the the numbers so much, he doesn't go directly to the sideline. At least he tries to get vertical. Great pass. Oh, be careful, man. Like he might have hurt the knee there. Thank God he came away clean. Woo! That was ugly. So I would I would be willing to say that this DB, if you're gonna press, get up on that line. You know, get your feet to that line. Okay? You're a little too far off. I can see you have inside coverage, inside shade. But are we like what are we doing? Do we know we're not gonna get hands on? We gotta get hands on if we're that close. We're losing. That's a loss. That's a loss. That's a loss. Yes, it is very, very important to win off the line as a wide receiver. Coaching tips for wide receivers when it comes to releases, all right? For one, be patient. As wide receivers, we always feel as though we're late, especially when guys get hands on us. Be patient, push to your depth, you know what I mean? You're, you're not late. You're a world-class athlete. You'll still be able to get to your depth. You know what I mean? Um, it'll time up perfectly, you know? So be susceptible. Um, be consistent, you know what I mean? No matter if it's a run play or a pass play. You know, give him a little something off, off the line just to keep him honest, you know what I mean? You're going to make him work every single play. There are no plays off. Uh, from a DB standpoint, you know, Keep your eyes on his hips. Don't go for any head, head movements. Use your hands. Don't, don't, um, use your hands in a jabbing motion. Quick jabs. Jab with your feet laterally. Jab with your feet. DBs know what I'm talking about. Um, but then don't reach. You know, once again, once we, once we start running, we gotta run, man. Don't slow yourself down. Don't shoot yourself in the foot by reaching and grabbing. Um, wide receivers just gonna keep running right by you. But, um, but yes, this, thank you for tuning in to episode number two of one on one with CTC Training. Stay tuned for more content. We're gonna have week 10 matchups posted shortly. Uh, a couple, couple, um, different matchups from the AFC and the NFC that we're looking forward to in week 10. But thank you for tuning in. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, CTC Training 4. 
This is 101 with CTC Training. I'm Coach Sam, and uh, the grind continues.